Good evening, my name is Tata J. Kenze Meva Kelin, an upper science student from Marisino Baliga College in Gaoundé. I will try to verify a proof without passing through induction. So, my first step will be to change this expression into partial fashion. I will obtain one one. Which will give me Now, posing r equal to zero to, to eliminate two of the terms, I'm seeing that these two terms are leaving out, so I'm having posing r equal to one. I'm eliminating all that, the other two terms, which is this one and this one, so I'm having posing r equal to minus one. I'm, I'm, I'm eliminating. This one and this one, so I'm having having my values of a, b, and c. I now come to substitute in the expression containing the submission sign. So I have oh, my value of a was minus one, my b was half into. Opening out, I'm having as well as me half out, I'm having so now I'm I should not try to express all the terms in terms of one on R in order to Define my solving. So I'll express this one in terms of one of plus r, this one in terms of one plus one and half. So I'm posing an, an r prime being equal to r minus one. Lower boundary will correspond to two minus one. Upper boundary will correspond to n minus one. So I'm having my lower boundary was one and my upper boundary was n minus 1 plus I'll do the same thing here and I'll obtain half living from 3 to n plus 1 now I'm trying to change the to have to obtain a common upper and lower boundary for all the pure expressions for the upper boundary I will look for the lowest value of the upper boundary available among the three expressions and express the other two Upper boundaries in terms of that upper boundary, in terms of that smallest upper boundary. So I'll obtain my, my, my lowest value of upper boundary was n minus 1. So yeah, I put an n minus 1 and I continue the transformation by adding the next term which was removed when I posed the n minus 1 here, which is that next term was n 1 on n. Plus a half into the same thing I will do here. So I will be leaving from n plus 1 to n minus 1. So I will be adding the next last terms, which is 1 on n and 1 on n plus 1. n minus 1 of 1 on r plus 1 on n plus plus 1 so now I'm obtaining this expression but now I also have to find a common lower boundary for all the values available and that common lower boundary should be the highest available lower boundary and the highest available lower boundary is r equal to 3 I'm choosing r equal to 3 to simplify my work and make my solving easier. So, posing r equal to 3 here, I'm obtaining a minus summation of r equal to 3 to n minus 1 of 1 on r.
I must add the term which I removed and the term which I removed was 1 all over 2 so I'm adding the 1 all over 2 inside here to give you minus half minus 1 1 n plus I'm having my half into I'm leaving now from r equal to 3 so I removed the 1 and I removed the half because substitute 1 you have 1 and substitute 2 you have a half so since I'm moving from 3 I must add the other 1 and the other half I'm now having r leaving from 1 n minus 1 1 on on r plus my half now a half plus when I have, I'm having two here, it gives half. Half now times half will give one on four. Plus, now I just open out this one. Then you have the two. R equal to three n minus one. One on R plus one on two n. One on two n plus one on two n plus two. Now I'm trying to add everything here. I'm seeing that this one plus this one. Give me one summation of r leaving from 3 to n minus 1, which will cancel with this term. So I'm having these terms cancelled. I'm now left with minus a half. I'm seeing that there's a minus a half here and there's a plus half here. So these two terms equally cancel. I'm left with minus 1 on n plus 1 on 4 plus 1 on 2 n plus. 1 on 2 n plus 2 1 on 4 plus 1 on 2 n plus 1 on 2 n plus 2 plus 1 minus 1 on n Excuse. minus 1 on n having the LCM now for these 3 terms I'm maintaining the 1 on 4 here I'm obtaining 2 n into 2n plus 2. Here, yeah, simplifying here, we give me 2n plus 2. Here, we give me plus 2n. And here, we give me minus, minus, this divided by this, minus 2 into 2n plus 2. This will give me. One and four. Simplifying this expression, I'm having four n. Four n. Open this bucket. I'm, I'm having a minus four n. So this expression we cancel with this one, which is minus four n. I'm having a two minus four because here is two. And opening now this two with the bucket of minus four, so I have two minus four. Divided by, here we give me 2n plus 2n into 2n plus 2. This will give you 1 all over 4 minus 2 all over 2n into 2n plus 2. Now, simplifying this one, I'm having cancel this one, cancel this two, will give me 1 on 4 minus. 1 divided by n into 2n plus 2. Factorizing these two out, I'm obtaining 1 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2n into n minus 1. As equal by the proof.